Hey, with the Lord of the Smoke. What's good, Jay? Chilling, man. Monday, we working. Huh? Got the fat man over there. Huh? What up, fat? What's up? <laughs> hey, Greg, you know I'm chilling on the bag, right? Yeah. I did six in the rain. Uh, All right, I got you. I got you. Shakur Stevenson, Devin Haney. Yeah. Uh, woke up this morning. And shit, the socials was on fire. Yeah. Seemed like the back and forth is. Uh, seems like it's going left, G. I, yeah. I don't like. I don't like what I'm seeing. It's looking like it's going past boxing. It reminds me of. It, it's like these boxers are doing rat beef now, and we all know where rat beef had the tendency to end up. Yeah. What's your thoughts on it? That was my exact thoughts when I uh, seen it. I actually didn't even read all the tweets because it was getting to be too much. You know what I mean? It, it was it was fuck your dad, then fuck your mom, like like that's personal shit. And um, I feel like I feel like honestly they gotta chill. The reason they gotta chill is because they're gonna get tricked out of their spots. Somebody gonna end up in jail. Somebody gonna end up hurt. Or just some all around dumb shit gonna happen. Now y'all fucking up a mega fight. They got the potential. They got the potential to have one of the biggest fights of this time. You know what I'm saying? And I think both both young men is on a great path. They both on a great path. They both know what it feel like to be champion. They both got the eye of the people. You know what I mean? So don't fuck that up by going too far. I think also when you're a young man, you got to pay attention to the people you have around you on both sides. I ain't picking sides. This is for both sides. You got to pay attention to the people you be around, the shit they be saying. Because guess what? They don't really, nine times out of ten, don't got shit to do with the business side or the fight. And they not getting in the ring. Mm -hmm. So you let a motherfucker hype you up and, you know, it go too far. I mean, that's my that's my only fear that they go too far and two young men end up fucking up their careers. There's no need. Y'all already fighters. Be fighters. You know I mean, when the time is right, make the fight. May the best man win. You know what I mean, I think they should chill with all the rap shit though, the back and forth beef and shit. That shit corny. You know what I mean, because at the end of the day, it's gangsters that want to be fighters. Fighters wanting to be gangsters don't make sense. You know what I'm saying? They talked about meeting each other, like meeting up in person. And Shakur saying he's going to slap the shit out of Devin. Yeah. Devin like, all right, we'll go somewhere in some fight. Now, we're not talking about boxing. We ain't talking about sparring. Yeah. And, yo, um, these, these guys were friends. And if people see me watching this, I'm pausing. Because as an older man now, I'm 38 years old. Yeah. Like, I've seen shit like this go way left. Go far. They were friends. Yeah. And it seemed like boxing and maybe even us like I, I gotta put the microscope on us we play a part in the deterioration of a friendship right us going us doing interviews us asking certain questions us posting up like when they have they back and forth yeah like I'm, I'm i'm just trying to make sense of this man i feel like people with this new clickbait thing and this new clout chasing thing and this new you know, uh, doing shit for views and all this shit, they be pushing it. But the only motherfuckers that get hurt is the motherfuckers that's involved. You know what I mean? Nobody else gonna get hurt over this shit. It's gonna be somebody around, either that be around them or it's gonna be one of them. And it's gonna fuck everything up. Terrence Bud Crawford made a point when he was fighting Spence when he said one of the things people is expect is when you mix two black crowds, it's gonna be some negative energy. You know what I mean? Y'all gotta start showing different. Y'all gotta go, go out there, rumble, show sportsmanship, and let that be that. All the, I'ma smack you shit, all that, that's, it's uncalled for. And a lot of motherfuckers, I realize in this game, sometimes pay attention to the shit I say, and they take it wrong, or they take it like, I'm trying, play somebody or or I don't have no say so you know what I mean but one thing I could tell you like you said Mill being a grown man now 36 years old I did a lot of shit that was negative that ain't give me nowhere it ain't, it ain't go nowhere you know what I'm saying it didn't mean anything I didn't make no money off of it so 
for y'all to, to be young men and to be in this position that y'all in, that'd be the dumbest shit to do is to get tricked out your spot. A lot of motherfuckers did it. And and that should be the example. Don't don't get caught up in that shit, bro. Y'all both of y'all better than that. You know what I mean? Both of y'all is great fighters. I mean, get the business done, get the fight done. May the best man win. Every time I talk to um Brother Wally Moses, yeah. Shakur's grandfather, he always references how close he is with the Haney's. Yeah. And that he used to help train Devin Haney. Yeah. And maybe that's why it, it's going so far in that direction because there are personal feelings involved. Like, you, we supposed to be like that. Yeah. And you saying this about me, you saying that about me. Now you talking about my dad, now you talking about my mom. Yeah. It's like, Yo, once you start talking about family members, like, it seems like there's no coming back. Yeah. Like, this how close, like, this how close that shit be, right? I was at the fight, and it's a sidebar, but it, it, it shows how close you get to people. We was at the fight down in D.C., the weigh-ins, when um, Gary, Gary Antoine just fought, right? And they mom had looked at Subriel Matias, and she said something to him. And she wasn't being negative. And he said something back, but he ain't understand what she was saying. He speaks Spanish. He understand a little bit of English. He said that. And the mom was like, I just wanna know what you was looking at. He was like, no, we just caught eyes. You know what I mean? He, once they got a translator, translator over there, no, we just caught eyes. The reason I'm speaking on this is because his, they mom was at the fight. I mean, at the weigh-in. So what if it's Shakur mom or Devin Pop, who we do know be around, and they cross paths with somebody and some shit go wrong. You don't want that. That's stupid. Nobody family should be worrying about being in a beef between boxers or anybody else beef. You know what I mean? So, at the end of the day, just just chill with all that shit because it ain't gonna get y'all nowhere. You know what I mean, it's just gonna be shit talk. You know what I mean, of course y'all gonna have to fight one day and y'all should fight because y'all great fighters and great fighters should fight each other. But all the negative shit, chill because somebody always get hurt because there's always people around that's in the in the area of the fighters over there around just being on some on some joe shit like you know what i mean hyping the shit up and they ain't the ones that got to get in the ring and then some dumb shit happen i just don't want to see that i mean that's my main thing look um i really don't have a relationship with either yeah i've interviewed both of them but i don't have a personal relationship yeah. But I know sometimes they, they they watch, especially your stuff, right? Yeah. So if you are watching, that that shit, please. It don't gotta go. It it, it don't have to go to the street shit. If y'all gonna fight, y'all get paid millions of dollars to fight. If y'all gonna fight down the road, then fight down the road. Right. You don't gotta. When I see you, I'ma do not. It, it don't have to be that way. Y'all professionals. One thing fighters gotta understand, y'all already tough guys. Y'all already tough guys, cause y'all fight. You know what I mean. Y'all make your money through fighting. So, you know how many people want to be in y'all positions? You know what I mean? You know how many people wish they was they was champions? You know what I mean? So, don't get caught up in the bullshit and get caught up in a, a sticky situation where you got to go to court or somebody got to go to jail or somebody end up hurt, dead. It's uncalled for. And the OGs around them should be letting them know that. You know what I mean? Which I think some it's somebody in their ear, but... I mean, they get they get emotional nowadays. They get super emotional when they. And I'm not saying I never got emotional, but I'm the, I I got it to make it to 30. I got a chance to make it to 36 because I watch how I move. I mean, I watch who I be around. I mean, so and I done been around some real gangster motherfuckers like killers and all that type of crazy shit. But that don't give me no credit. I mean, it ain't get me nowhere. So. Just leave that shit alone. That shit corny, for real, for real. It's corny, because for real, for real, it's starting to look like, uh, uh, what you call it, reality TV show. It's starting to look like that. It's too much bicker. Love and boxing? Yeah, love and boxing, for sure. All he's missing is the hoochies. Can't forget the hoochies, yeah. Can't. <laughs>